So here we have the uh, brand new Motorola Atrix, which was just recently announced at CES in Las Vegas. Um, this is our new high-speed uh, device, which is actually the most powerful smartphone in the world. Uh, from a technical perspective, it features a dual-core uh, uh, processor, two uh, cores of one gigahertz. We have a gig of RAM on board. We have 16 gig of onboard memory with an additional 32 gig that can be used via expandable memory slot. A large 4-inch QHD display. It's nice and thin. And one of the other really nice integrated features we have on the back is a fingerprint recognition, which is on the top there. And this can be used to lock and unlock your phone. So if I give you a quick demonstration of that, you have your phone locked. If you swipe your finger across the top, it unlocks the screen. It's a very nice feature for full consumers and also for business users for extra security. In addition to the device itself, which um, has a huge amount of features and really is a, a move to enable users to move their smartphones not into just a portable smartphone device but also into a mobile computing device, we have a number of accessories that enable that experience to be able to turn your uh, device into just a 4 inch screen into anything up to 72, 80 inches depending on the size of the display that you've got. So the first accessory that we have here is uh, a desktop which uh, I actually use by the side of my bed. So this one features uh, a charging port on the side. Uh, on the reverse side you put it charged and plugged into your wall and you also have a space for a three and a half mil headset jack for uh, media. So if I just dock this device straight into the dock here You'll see it come up with a variety of options on the screen. You have the widget clock, or the option to do nothing. If I choose a widget clock, it will then display the uh, date and time. It will also display the local weather. Um, that weather is from yesterday when I was in India. Um, but that will update by GPS uh, when we get coverage here. Uh, you also see on the side quick access to your uh, alarm clock, so you can go and set that in the morning. You can just hit back there, you have the ability to turn the, the screen off if you wanted to have it nice and dark when it's by the side of your bed, or have that on again. The dock itself supports a technology called Whisper Technology, which allows you to actually memorise the experience that occurs when you plug the device into the dock. So if I had that by the side of my bed, I can uh, teach the dock that every time I put my device inside that dock, it would automatically open up this widget clock by the side of my bed. So that's the first dock that we have. If you uh, move across here to the right side, we have um, our HD multimedia dock. Now this uh, adds some extra level of intelligence on top of that dock. You'll see we have an HDMI and uh, a, a micro USB cable on the charger ports there. If I turn it around, again you have three and a half mil headset, you have uh, charging, you have three USB ports and uh, a micro HD, uh, HDMI port. What you'll see there is I have a, uh, a little adapter that I've plugged into one of the USB ports which enables a wireless mouse to be able to connect it to my Motorola Atrix. So when I plug the device into here, you'll see again on the screen there are a variety of different options that occur. If you uh, get to your home and you plug your device straight into your dock, you have the ability to view your pictures and your videos on your HD display or listen to music for example. So if I pick up my uh, Motorola Android Bluetooth keyboard, I can then control what happens on the screen directly sitting on my sofa. So if I go to my pictures, I can view on the screen and show my friends and family some photos from when I went on holiday. So here you can just directly control it wirelessly. In addition, what we also have available is um, a remote control. So that has all of the same uh, features and the ability to drive all of this experience again from uh, a remote location. So you can be sat on your, on your sofa just controlling all of the different pictures, audio and videos on the display. I'll show you what the music player looks like. If I scroll across to the music, again here you see uh, all of the available artists, albums on the device. If I go and uh, pick one, it will then start playing the audio 
uh, through the speakers so I can tell everybody what I'm here. multitask on this as well, so I can have the music playing in the background whilst I'm accessing my pictures. 